Yeah, we were forced to go to church pretty much. We grew up like that. Since I was a kid, every time I go to attend to any uh, certain church, that was really strict for me. A lot of the rules that came along with church just felt like these, like, you know, who do I need to be in order to be loved? This is how you have to dress. This is how you have to behave. I can remember running around the pews in our old Baptist church in Chicago, and my dad was leading worship and stuff like that. So it's always been a part of my life, even sometimes if it was at a distance. When I got uh, into high school, I didn't really feel that connection to church. If you live in mom's house, you, you went to church. The day I moved out was the last time I went. Well, I, st I decided to stop around 12, 13 years old. I thought I was big enough to take my decision to say, this is not for me. I knew a lot of ministers and ministries and pastors and things like that, you know, and so you go to a church on Sunday, but you know what happened, you know, between, you know, Monday through Saturday. Sometimes you get a little jaded or disillusioned, you know, by that. I left and explored um, life and all that it had to offer. How I was, I didn't, I didn't feel I belonged in a church. I've pretty much done any kind of drug that you can do. It was always like, I still had this like, you know, anxiety and depression inside. So the things that I turned to were alcohol and marijuana. I was searching, really looking for something. I was trying to find a meaning in something on my life, which never find it. My brother for sure was the front door for me because I had such a close relationship with him growing up. My daughter Stormy started going to church continuously when she was probably 14. I'm a plumber in there and I get to the house and I start laying out the blueprints and I start thinking there like, what are these people doing? Like, we can do miracles? Like, come on, this is stupid. There was a guy staying beside him and I was like, oh, say, who are you? And I, he's like, well, I'm the owner of the house. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I want that moment that the floor used to open and you swallow me right in there. And so when my brother came to me saying like, Ash, you gotta check out this church. And like, he was excited about it. I was like, okay, this is something. Before I left that day, he tried to come talk to me and he get to the point to come and invite me and say, he asked me, do you wanna go to church? It took us about three years before we I said, you know, yeah, we're coming with you and get saved. Growing up in church is just a part of your life, and it feels like it's something you didn't have a choice in. But that invite really got me serious about going because it was my choice at that point. The more that I go to church, the more I get close to God, I realize like He was been watching over me. I think like being in community with the church, it's really, really one of the most beautiful gifts that God has for us. This is the, the only time in my life that I really believe that I have brothers and sisters and, and uh, true friends continue to keep asking, no matter how, to, how many times they say no, don't ever give up. I don't know where I'd be right now if Stormy had given up on me.